Hey guys, it's Rick with Ugly Tent Bushcraft and Survival. Out here at the camp today on this chilly afternoon, hanging out a little bit before Christmas. I'm gonna cook some food here by the fire, show you around the camp. Thanks for coming along. I want you to be a part of Ugly Tent. Have you ever wanted to be on YouTube? Have you ever wanted to have a video on YouTube but didn't know where to start, didn't know how to go about it? I'm offering my channel to you. YouTube has been such a wonderful um, community platform that I want to share Ugly Tent with you. My subscribers, my friends, um, all my viewers, you all have been so good to me and been such a wonderful, it's been a wonderful blessing to be on here that I want to share that and I want to share it with you. So if you ever wanted to be on YouTube or ever wanted to be on Ugly Tent and didn't know how to go about it, now's your chance. Now's your opportunity. So if you direct message me on Facebook, Ugly Tent on Facebook, or Ugly Tent on Instagram. I, obviously, I can't choose everyone that's going to message me, but I will uh, look at everyone and talk to everyone about doing this. And hopefully, we can get you on Ugly Tent. Nifty little trick I picked up when I'm being out here for a while and checking out and using this uh, Agua Canyon Boral 21 saw is that uh, not only is it a really great saw and pretty much is just a hog on any type of lumber, but when you get done, it makes a really great and convenient way to carry your wood back to camp. And if you're carrying heavy wood, this isn't heavy of course, this is just a tiny little bit of wood that I'm carrying over to buck up. But if you're carrying it over long distances or it's really heavy, this allows you a safe and easy way to pick it up. Now you're gonna wanna turn it away so the blade isn't facing your clothing. You're gonna rip your good stuff. But yeah, just grab a hold of it here on the sides, keep the load steady as you can, pick it up, and we're off to buck it up. All right, folks. So we're just gonna go ahead and buck up some of this wood here. This is the hardwood that we're gonna use for the fire for cooking. Normally I carry a bigger ax. Today I brought out this Husqvarna ax that I just got. This is like the 13 inch um, hatchet that they sell. It's still got the factory string on it. Um, this is not in any, in any way a review, but uh, I do like their products. This one was sent pretty squared up and true with a nice little edge, no rolls. And uh, we're gonna buck this up and uh, gather up some fat wood and then we're gonna get cooking. The reason I'm knelt down like this is because if you're using a larger axe, it's okay to be standing. The swing of the axe can't hurt you if you're standing and it hits the ground. If you're standing and you have a smaller axe, it can actually break through this, glance off or something, and then you end up with one of these in your shin, and it's a bad day for everyone in the woods. Let's get cracking. No chances, folks. Don't lose a finger. Losing a finger is no fun out here. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just getting my smalls in order um, to get a fire going. Now, normally I'd collect a couple different types of smalls, you know, pencil lead, pencil size, thumb, wrist, forearm, that sort of thing. Uh, for this fire, I'm gonna get an idea to get it going pretty quick. I've got a small tunnel built under here that I've prefabbed, and that's, that prefab's just kind of there so I can put some coals underneath of it, because I'm gonna sit my bushcraft grill on top here and cook up some steaks today. Using these little mini infernos here um, that are sold at the uh, Pathfinder store, Self-Reliance Outfitters. And these little guys here, I'm telling you, probably one of the best fire starters out there. I absolutely love them. Simple, sweet, and easy. Clean this off here a little bit. It does not take much. And we're going. Now I did put my paper sack in here from my uh, steak purchase, but it is a 100% brown paper sack. And uh, I'm just using it to get the fire started. And as these top sticks here at night, and wind or air is allowed to travel up through and create a little bit of a wind loft. It'll catch these, they drop down, they're in my little furnace here, and then I just continue to add some sticks and some of those bigger things that I've bucked up, and everything will go great. These little two rocks right here that I got set up, 
Um, I knew they were going to be a little too hot to handle um, after the fire got going. So what the, the premise is here, what the idea is supposed to be, is the uh, fire ignites like it has very nicely. The coals drop down in. I can add sticks on top as I need coals. These are uh, resinous pine sticks and very other twigs and smalls. So I'm not really going to cook or eat over these anything over here but after that gets down to coals I can just take this little bushcraft grill here and slide it right on top of those rocks and push it all the way to the back and it'll be nice and level so I can cook me up a couple of big steaks bushcraft grill and rocks can't beat that Kettle on for a nice little brew. Now you want to kind of be careful if it's too damp in the area that you're at. You know, try to keep your wood up off the ground. Um, keep it dry as much as possible. I didn't do that. I set it down over there and I can actually feel that it's picked up a tiny bit of moisture. And when I cut this, it was literally bone dry. But I think I still think it'll burn. It'll be okay. We'll get it in here and get it, get it cooking down. And, Get some super hot coals going and we'll throw some red meat on it. And that is never, ever a bad thing. fell apart on me a little bit but tell you what she's looking just about perfect right there so I think we're gonna go ahead and yank this thing off here and enjoy this feast of... well guys I appreciate you joining me on this outing and checking out my little camp here and uh, having some food with me and, and just watching um, I appreciate Kenny for having me uh, on ugly tent giving me this opportunity to uh, get out and have some fun and see what the uh, be able to do what I see other guys do like you know what the people that inspired me to get out and do bushcraft I watched them on YouTube first so being able to come out here and do this and kind of do something I see my my fellow people and my mentor um, kind of idolize them a little bit so it gives me an opportunity to kind of do this too and I really appreciate him for for giving me that chance to do that and I appreciate you guys for coming along and make sure uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel you know hit that notification button so you get all the notifications get to push alerts and uh, we appreciate you we really do and we thank you for coming along have a great day that's an ugly tent Kenny